Hey, kids, it's time for the Beanie and Cecil Show. Hey, Cece, that's us. What are we waiting for? Come go sailing with Beanie and the crew. Cecil the sea six feet serpent and Uncle Captain too. Dishonest John will never learn the crime was never paid. Cecil the sea six feet serpent always saves the day. Harmless, ten feet tall and wet. Cecil the sea six feet serpent, who surf you won't forget. So come on, kids, let's flip our lids. Higher than the moon. Now there's Baby and Cecil in above them. The serpent's serpent's name is Cecil. Hey, that's me! Yahoo! Surfing on a sea, serpent, hope it never ends. Cause surfing on a sea, serpent, means surfing with a friend. Happy evening, Cecil! Front and center, man. Uh, we have an important and dangerous mission to go on. First mate Beanie reporting for duty, Uncle Captain. First Sea Serpent Cecil reporting for duty, Uncle Captain, sir. Eh, Beanie, Cecil, I just received this desperate plea for help from an old friend of mine. He is King Muckamuck, ruler of the Tropical Isle of How Are You? Not bad. How are you? No, Cecil, not how are you. How are you? Pretty good, except I've got this itch on my back I can't seem to get to. The people of How Are You? have a monster on their hands. The horrible, three-headed creep. And our job is to capture it. I'd love to help you, Uncle Captain, sir, but I'm all tied up. Hey, Crowley, uh, bring me my map, and I'll chart our course to the islands of How Are You? Ah, ah, get it yourself. <laughs> work, work, work. He's got everything in there but the kitchen sink. Ah, old joke. Now, I mapped out a shortcut that will get us to the Isle of How Are You in no time. First, we'll go through the nasal canal, heading south by north, by northwest, by the light of the silvery moon. <laughs> and then we'll arrive, generally speaking, at the Pacific Ocean, where we'll circle the waist of the polyester islands, zip up the Bermuda shores, <laughs> and then, before you know it, reach the beautiful Isle of Hawaii, where we'll drop anchor on Why Not Kiki Beach. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good. Here comes King Muckamuck and his people to greet us. Oh, nice. A welcoming committee. Gee, is there a problem with my breath? I brushed my teeth this morning. It's not your oral hygiene, teeth. It's the horrible three-headed freak. Yikes! Don't worry, everybody. I've got a two-part plan. What is it, Uncle Captain? You run, I'll hide. Well, Cease, it's just you and me. Don't worry, Beanie Boy. No freep is gonna hurt my little buddy. <laughs> it is I, Dishonest John, who is behind this fake freep fiasco. Once my robot has scared everyone off this island, I'll be able to turn the whole place into Club Bath, a vacation resort for evildoers. I'd know that face anywhere. It's my old enemy, Captain Huffenpuff. With that smarmy sea serpent Cecil and his little boy buddy Beanie. Wait till those dumb dumb do-gooders get a load of my fake freak. What are we gonna do, Cecil? Hey, I'm not afraid to fight any three-headed freep. I'm Cecil Balboa, Hulk Serpent, Sugar Ray C. Boy. You gotta watch what you say in these cartoons. Yeah! In this corner, the challenger and do-gooder, Cecil, the C6 Sea Serpent. 
three. And in this corner, the current champion and do batter, the horrible three-headed three. Ah, those boos are music to my ears. All right, fellas, let's make this a clean fight. Yes, sir. Okay, Freep. I don't want to hurt you, so I'll give you one chance to give yourself up and come quietly. What a colossal sucker. The winner, still champion do batter, the horrible three-headed Freep. Bye. Cecil, did you notice anything weird about that Freep? Yeah. He wasn't wearing any shorts. Those numbskull nice guys haven't seen the last of the phony freep or dishonest John. How are you? 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 How's the wife? Not bad, Murray. How's those islands? Uh, hey, Murray, how about snaring a wild boar for dinner? Yeah, how about some appetizers? Mm. Don't worry, King Muckamuck. I'm not through fighting that freep. Gee, Uncle Captain, you haven't even started. Yeah, I have a secret invention that will catch the freep. Yeah, I call it freep paper. Yeah, once the freep steps on the freep paper, it will be helpless. I hope you are right, Captain Huff and Puff. If that Freep is not captured soon, we will have to leave this island forever. May I speak, Father? Of course, dear. Gentlemen, my daughter, Princess Princess. Hello, hello. Uh, Growy, give me a hand. The Freep has always been very shy and stayed away from our people. We don't understand why it's attacking us now. Why don't we ask it? Come down, everybody. I have another two-part plan. I'll run you high. Oh, 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 no. oh, Help, Beanie. Don't worry, Princess Princess. I'll save you. Stay here, and I'll lure the Freep away from the village. He hurt my feelings three times. Help, Cecil! Help! I'm coming, Beanie Boy! Come on, Cecil. Let's get out of here. Make sure the fruit follows us. That way, he won't hurt anyone in the village. You got it, Beanie Boy. I tell you, Cecil, there's something strange about that three-headed freak. Gee, he seemed like a pretty normal three-headed freep to me. Uh-oh, it looks like curtains for us. Gee, it's a good thing I didn't say it looks like couches for us. Hey, I didn't say couches. That's far enough, Freep. Cross that line and I'll clobber you. Okay, that's it. Now I'll have to put my foot down. <laughs> and let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Beanie? Yes, Cecil? I have. This terrible sinking sensation! Yeah! It's Link and Lena and Chloe! We're saved! Oops! Gee, 
thanks, Lena and Crowley, for saving me from falling in the ocean. Is everybody okay? Just a little waterlogged. Good thing I'm a permanent press sea serpent. Quick, everybody, follow me. The villagers have surrounded the Freep. How could that be? We just left the Freep on the other side of the island. Something's fishy, Cecil. You mean something's freepy. <laughs> Why, that's a strange question. We're going to do away with it, of course. <laughs> Edie! <laughs> hey, everybody. Your sandals are untied. Yeah, yeah, you know. Now, free! Run for your life! You let the monster escape. Now all the damage it does will be your fault. People of how are you? Beanie must be punished! So devoted to Beanie, I have a plan. I know. Run and hide! Yeah. 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 Father, Father, no! Don't hurt our friends. Beanie must have had a good reason for what he did. The Freep is a monster. Beanie must be punished for allowing it to get away. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why did you let the freak get away? Simple, Uncle Captain. I think the villagers caught the wrong freak. <laughs> the wrong freak? You mean there's two freaks? How do you know that? That's easy. The clue was... Eee! Yowee! The clue was e yowie woo I don't understand. What kind of a clue is that? Ah! You okay? I'm fine, Cease. Boy, I sure wouldn't want to run into some horrible monster in this dark, scary cave. Me neither. Reap! Ah! Reap, I know you're not dangerous, so I'm not going to be afraid of you. Come on out, Freep. No one's gonna hurt you. There. That's better. I knew you were friendly. Cecil, where are you? Over here, hiding from the freep. Peekaboo! My sisters and I would never hurt or scare anybody. That would be mean. <laughs> My sisters think you're cute. Gosh, girls. Oh, shucks. <laughs> we went to the villagers to tell them we're not the freak who's being naughty, but they wouldn't listen. <laughs> now we'll never have any friends on this island. <laughs> <laughs> That's the saddest thing I ever heard. Oh, cruel, cruel world. <laughs> Beanie, we have to help this framed freak find friends. We will, Cecil. But first, we have to catch the Freep who's causing all the trouble. <laughs> That's the bad Freep. Come on, let's go get him. <laughs> Help, Beanie. Help. Oh, no. Help, Beanie. Help. <laughs> we got a big problem. Yeah, but first, we got a small commercial. Beanie and Susan. Help, Beanie! Help! Help, Beanie! Come on, Cease. We have to catch that princess poaching freak. Can we come, too? You'd better hide. If the villagers catch you again, we may not be able to come to your rescue. Cecil would come to our rescue, wouldn't you, Cecil? <laughs> She's out of her minds about me. What are you doing, Cease? Elementary, my dear Beanie. But what do you need a magnifying glass for? I am looking for clues as to which way the freep went. I think the freep...
Snape went that way. What makes you think that, Beanie Old Bean? Oh, I don't know. Just a wild guess. Welcome to Dishonest John's Club Bad, where the bad come to play. But this is just the beginning. Soon I'll take over the whole island, and bad guys from around the world will come here for their undeserved vacations. You must be mad. Mad? I'm not mad. Actually, I'm in a pretty good mood. <laughs> Let me show you around. <laughs> First, there's the shark-infested Club Bad swimming pool, where we make blindfolded good guys walk the plank. Whoa! Whoa! Why, that's awful! I know. It's much better without the blindfold. Look, Cecil. A bad freak. And he's standing in front of something called Club Bad. It must be sleeping. Without a teddy bear? Whoops! Cecil, look out! Freak! <gasps> Cecil, that's not a freak. It's not? Uh-uh. Cecil, look. Thanks to your great detective work, we just discovered that it's a robot. Oh. Uh, I knew that. Come on, let's keep looking around. So, you give up, Freep? See so! Coming. Wow! A swimming pool with sharks! I bet the water's got a bite to it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Dishonest John. John! No autographs, please. Nyah. Help, Beanie! Help! Is that all you say in this show? Help, Beanie, help? Here, look at the script. What do you know? You're right. What jerk wrote this? Let her go, Dishonest John. I'll let her go, and how are your island is mine. Oh, mine! Nyah. Why, DJ, you dirty guy! Oh, please, no more compliments. My swell head may get a swelled head. I should have known it was you who built the robot freep and caused all the trouble. Why, thank you. Help, Beanie, help! <laughs> Come on, why don't you help me catch these good guys? I'm on vacation. Cecil, look out for the sharks! I tell a joke right now, but I don't find this at all finny. Yikes! Serves up! You won't get away from me! Now's my chance to save Princess Princess! Stand still, you flying little flea! Yeah, uh, uh, gotcha! Hang on, Princess Princess! You're not getting away from this meanie, Beanie! Help, Cecil, help! I'm coming, Beanie Boy! Uh, still, you little propeller head! Help, Cecil! Ouch. I'll get you out of there, Beanie. Don't worry, pal. Can I help, Cecil? Oh, gosh, thanks, Miss Freeps. But this is kind of a man's job. Who is it? I'm selling Freep Scout cookies. Would you like to buy some? Do you have the chocolate ones? I gotta go. Cecil, my best friend. DJ! Give me back my buddy Beanie! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh take ow. that. Oh, not, not, not. Oh, that is a <laughs> Oh, thanks, Cecil. You're the best pal a kid like me ever had. 
Uh, hello, ladies. I really must be going now. Hey, what do you think I am? Wow! Yikes! Wow! Wow! He sure gets wrapped up in his work. <laughs> Please forgive us, Beanie. You were right in freeing this freak. She truly is a friend to the people of Hawaii. And you are truly a friend to me, Beanie. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Beanie, you're blushing. <laughs> Goodbye, King Makamak. Take good care of Tasana's John. <laughs> oh, don't worry about him. He is in good hands. Hey, Dad. Wah, let me go. Please let me go. Wah. <laughs> I don't want any milk. Wah. Wave bye-bye. I don't want to wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take bye, care, friend Hoppin. See ya. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Bye-bye! Bye! 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 We'll come <laughs> yeah. back soon! See you later! We help the freak find happiness and beetle DJ too! The next adventure will be fun with Beanie, Cecil, and you! cuddly and he loves to eat honey it's winnie the pooh and all his friends in the new adventures of winnie the pooh coming up next tomorrow backwoods poachers take aim and mac becomes the game on macgyver and tuesday angela's sleep talk leads to sweet talk on who's the boss then dj plays hooky in order to get a rock star's autograph on full house <laughs> What are we waiting for? Come goes sailing with Beanie and the crew. Cecil the sea 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 serpent and Uncle Captain too. To saw the jungle never learn the crime will never pay. Cecil the sea 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 serpent always saves the day. Harmless, harmless, ten feet tall and wet. Cecil the sea, sea, sea serpent, who's so you won't forget. So come on, kids, let's lift our legs. Higher than the moon. Now there's baby and Cecil in above land. It's our turn. Come on, Cecil. We've got to see the dentist. conscience to do exactly what it tells me. Little inner voice. Conscience. Hello? Anybody there? Yeah! Okay, let's go. I don't hear my conscience, but I think maybe I felt it.
This sounds like a job for old BJ. Now you stay comfy, and I'll be right back. <laughs> With this radio receiver and that green geek's tooth, I can make him think he's listening to his conscience. Lucy's here. Say, oh! Did that hurt? Uh-uh. Geez, I must be losing my touch. Uh, ah! How about this? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm losing my patience with this patient. I don't need this. No. Look, Edie. Hey, I was willing. to do now is broadcast the crimes I want that gullible guppy to commit. And he'll think it's the voice of his conscience. Hello? Yikes! I'm really hearing that little inner voice now, Beanie. Loud and clear. It's time for a moldy goldie oldie on the big WBBD spinneroo. Come on and do the funny face boogie. What's your inner voice saying now, Steve? Funny face boogie. Funny face boogie. You got to do the boogie. It says, I got to do the funny face boogie. Come on, you piece of junk. It's working. Ah, uh, Cecil, this is the voice of your conscience. Can you hear me? Yes, conscience. Do you love art? Then you must come to the Museum of Very Expensive Art. This is your conscience speaking. I want you to go into the museum, get the Bengal tiger, and bring it outside. Tiger to the nice man who's waiting by the tree. I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, that painting will make me rich. Hey, DJ. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to give you this. <laughs> From now on, Cease, if you hear your conscience, it'll be the real thing. You know what, Beanie Boy? I hear it right now, and it's saying, you're the best pal a sea serpent like me could ever have. <laughs> oh, sees. When you have a problem and it's time to make a choice, don't listen to the radio. 
Listen to your inner voice. <laughs> charge on a weather like this. Let's see. Hate mail. Hate mail. Ah! A letter from my club. The Brotherhood of Blech. That stands for bad guys, losers, evildoers, crooks, and horrible people. Dear Dishonest, we regret to inform you that your membership in Blech will be cancelled unless you can prove your blechiness. Canceled? This must be a mistake. I'm Blacky. Hey, get out of the way, pond scum. You're blocking the rain. We's here to see if yous is bad enough to be in black. <laughs> Me? What, are you kidding? I taught Michael Jackson how to be bad. If yous can't prove that yous bad, we's has to cancel yous membership like this. Take your partner, swing them round. Now jump up, now jump down. Stomp your feet a teeny bit. That's how we cancel membership. You boys dance divinely. We don't know where we've been We just know we're the good guys And good guys always win <laughs> Gene, Cecil, I get the feeling we're being watched Boy, I hope so If we're not, they'll take us off TV Ah, uh, now I'll prove just how blechy I am. Watch what happens when those do-gooders see me. They'll be so filled with fear, they'll probably run screaming to their mommies. Oh no, here comes dishonest John. This could only mean trouble. Gee, Uncle Captain. Maybe DJ is just coming by to say hello. Let's try and be friendly and see what happens. It is I, Dishonest John. Bad guy, loser, evildoer, broken, horrible person. Blech. Come on, Cease. Let's give him a chance. Hello, Dishonest John. Hello, hello DJ. Hello. Good to see you. Hey, what are you guys being so nice for? It's me, Dishonest John. 
the bad guy. Whatever you say, DJ. Well, thanks for coming by. So long, DJ. Nice to see you. What are you do good as doing to me? You see? Nothing happened. I think DJ has turned over a new leaf. Yeah, but the leaf is probably poison ivy. <laughs> ah, cease. I can explain. Take your partner, swing him around. Now jump up. Now jump. Wait! You gotta believe me. I really am a bad guy. Please, just give me another chance. After these messages, we'll be right back. Yeah. Tom sees Dead Man's Falls. All right, all right, I know it's an old trick, but I'm desperate. Dead Man's Falls? Come see. You boys might want to watch this and learn a lesson in evilness from an old but still ruthlessly handsome pro. I've got a big surprise for you, do-gooders. <laughs> well, was that lucky enough for you muscle-bound goons? Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, DJ! Oh, this is fun! Yahoo! <laughs> Thanks, DJ! One more plan that's so rotten, it'll go down in blacky history. If yous can't prove that yous is a blacky guy, we's gonna have to start doing blacky things to yous. Start? Idea. No matter what bad guy thing DJ tries to do to us, we have to pretend like it's real terrible, or he'll be in real trouble. <laughs> Remember, make it look good. Right on, boy. Wait till you twangy twerps get a load of my terrible tornado machine. Not the terrible tornado machine. Help, help. It's the terrible tornado machine. Ah, we're doomed. Oh, please, spare us, dishonest John. I just love the sound of good guys crying. Tornado! Gasp! Ooh, what am I to do? Oh, woe is me! Ooh, sob! 
Am I blacky or what? Oh, no. Help. Help. Oh, oh, oh my! Go. What am I to do? You got anything to say before the dance starts? Okay, everybody, let's dance. Mommy. <laughs> than any red-blooded American sea serpent wouldn't have did for his best pal. <laughs> and friends. Because ah! of all the rotten things you done, we's hereby name you's Lucky Guy of the Year. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the little people who I've stepped on to get this award, and... Excuse us, DJ, but I think this belongs to you. Not now, you worm. I'm giving my acceptance speech. I'd also like to thank... We tried to help this honest John, cause that's the way to be. But it's hard to help a bad guy when he's being so black. is Winnie the Pooh and all his friends in the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh coming up next. Tomorrow, it's a deadly enemy and an unlikely ally for MacGyver. Then it's two hours of special episodes from Growing Pains, head of the class, who's the boss in Perfect Strangers, in the first ABC Decathlon of Comedy, tomorrow. of Beanie and Cecil. Hey kids, it's time for the Beanie and Cecil show. Hey Cecil, that's us. What are we waiting for?
Captain? Sorry, Beady Boy, but I'm not at liberty to divulge its incredible contents. But I can tell you this, men. It's something we must guard with your lives. Look, Sis. It says top secret. And bottom secret, too. Whatever's in that box must be worth a trillion smackaroos. Uh -uh. I'll just snatch it right from under their schnozolas. Drat, I must be coming down with a cold. I better start stealing more vitamins. Kids, don't try this at home. Ah, I know the perfect place to hide this, where no one will find it. This should be easier than stealing candy from a baby. Not as much fun, but easier. Ah, 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 choo! Oh! Uh, it's dishonest John, and he looks so green. Gosh, what's wrong with being green? I think we need to get DJ a doctor. A doctor? No, not a doctor. I'm afraid of doctors. Gosh, what a sissy. <laughs> All right, now breathe out. <sighs> now, stick out your tongue. It's one of my specialties. Blah, blah, blah. It's worse than I thought. You have the bad guy flu. Oh, no. Not the bad guy flu. Oh, my head is pounding. And my nose is running. He needs total rest, and he is not to leave this boat until he is completely recovered. Yes, sir, doctor, sir. a sore throat. Then he should gargle with salt water. Ah. <gasps> oh, Beanie Boy, give me some more soup. Sure, DJ. What kind? Oh, nothing fancy. Maybe cream of liverwurst with a sprinkling of dirt. As long as I'm stuck on this tub, I might as well steal Huff and Puff's top secret box. I bet it's in the closet. What's in the bottle, Cease? It's a home remedy Granny Neptune whipped up for DJ. She says it'll cure just about everything. Ugh, it smells awful. Come on, our patient's waiting. Here's 
medicine, dishonest John. No, I don't want to take my medicine. No, no, no. It's made out of squid juice. Ah. I hurt my little finger. Cecil, I think DJ needs a Band-Aid. One Band-Aid coming up. Huh? Wait. No. Stop. Let go of it. <laughs> this is my last chance to steal that top secret box. It's got to be up here somewhere. <laughs> Eureka! I love you! My, you are looking much better. You performed a miracle. He's completely recovered from the bad guy flu. Oh, it was nothing. We don't expect any thanks. And you're not getting any, Toad. In fact, I've yes. even stolen your top secret box. Huh? What's this junk? Yeah, that's not junk. Those are top secret signs that I painted uh, secretly. I risked my gorgeous neck for this? Yow! Yow! It's a terrible sprain. You're not to leave this ship for a week. We'll fix you up. No. Ow! Leave me alone. Ow! Go away! We tried to help dishonest John, cause that's the way to be. But it's hard to help a bad guy when he's being so You're just in time to see my exciting new invention. Well, what do you think? <gasps> Uncle Captain, where's the rest of you? Here, let me connect your dots. <laughs> Yeah, cut that out, Cecil. It tickles. My body isn't gone. It's just invisible. That's easy to see. I, Captain Horatio K. Huffenpuff, have invented invisibility paint. Uh, which, unfortunately, only lasts a few minutes. Yeah. With that paint, I'll be able to make myself invisible and steal the humongous diamond while it's at the Metropolitan Museum of Big Things. Taxi? Welcome, DJ. What the? DJ, you crummy crook! I'm not a crummy crook. I'm a crooked crumb. Yeah. Cecil! If we don't stop DJ, he'll use the invisibility paint for terrible, awful, evil, no good stuff! Does that mean we're gonna have a chase scene now? Yep. DJ, you dirty guy! Give us back that paint!
I'm such a little stinker. not lying listen you clowns this is my story and I want you out of this whale right now your story isn't this our TV show TV we're on TV hey I don't do TV I'm a big movie star a legend For sure, Cease. DJ stole the invisibility paint for some evil purpose. Yeah, and we've been swallowed by a whale. Don't worry, fellas. I'll get us out of here, or my name isn't the Serpent Master of the Universe. But Cecil, that isn't your name. Then we're in deep trouble. This is terrible. We're in the belly of a whale. I'm telling you guys, the only way out of this whale is to build a fire. Hmm. I wonder where we could get some wood. <gasps> yeah. No, there's another way out. We can escape while the whale is flossing his teeth. Hey, everybody! I think DJ is going to use the invisibility paint to steal the humongous diamond. Hey, isn't that the diamond Uncle Captain discovered? Well, actually, it fell out of the sky and hit me on the head. It doesn't matter, Uncle Captain. The humongous diamond is your greatest discovery. And we have to stop DJ before he steals it from... The Metropolitan Museum of Big Things. <laughs> stealing the humongous diamond while I'm invisible will be like stealing candy from a... Nothing can stop me now. going just the way I planned it. Once I'm invisible, nothing can stop me. My plan is going like clockwork. Hey, this is our lucky day. Did you find DJ? Even better, I found a parking spot. Gee, I hope this isn't a no sea serpent zone. As long as I'm invisible, no one can stop me from stealing the... Uh, hurry, men. We have to stop DJ from stealing the humongous diamond. <laughs> humongous diamond. Come on! Hey, look! The humongous diamond hasn't been stolen. Phew. <laughs> 
men, our job's not over yet. DJ's around here somewhere, and we'd better find him before he steals my greatest discovery. You're right, Uncle Captain. Let's go! <laughs> Here's my chance. As long as I'm invisible, no one can stop me. Invisible. <laughs> Flintstone, eat your heart out. Uh, help, Cecil, help! I'm coming, Beanie Boy! I'm coming! Hey! Ooh. You really should eat a more balanced diet. Good advice, from one bonehead to another. Oh, yeah? How do you know? Well, actually, I'm just guessing. I've got to do something to help Cecil. Uh, uh, Hippity hop, hippity hay, beanie copter bug DJ. Go away, hat. You bother me. Yeah. I got you, Beanie Boy! Thanks, Cease! But DJ got away! Uh -uh. I still have the invisibility paint and the humongous diamond. The humongous diamond? Humongous diamond? The humongous diamond? The humongous diamond? 
this diamond? Uh-oh. Then you want this diamond? What's that? The biggest fight cloud in the history of Saturday morning cartoons. Nice catch, Cease. Come on, let's return the humongous diamond to the big museum. That's a small request. Now you see him, now you don't. He's here and then he's gone. But we'll be back and you'll see more of Beanie Cecil and the Sonic John. <laughs> Fun with Pooh, Tigger, and all your friends. It's the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh, coming up next. As the ABC Decathlon of Comedy continues, Larry and Balky are back when Perfect Strangers follows Who's the Boss tomorrow and tonight. Birthday afternoon, don't miss terrible things my mother told me on the ABC After School Special. Cecilia, I can make a muscle too. Watch. <laughs> Yo, worm. Watch where you're splashing. How'd you like to be in my new picture? Sorry, I don't think she's interested. Oh, yes, yes, yes! So, that Zero wants to be a hero, eh? I think I'll muscle in on the fun. Yeah. Uh -uh. Greetings, boys. Dishonest John. Make that dynamic John, hero maker. You want to impress your girl with a fancy physique? I'll do anything for Cecilia. Then I'm gonna pump you up. Is this really part of the treatment? Sure, from wimp to blimp in one easy session. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Egad, I've been blown into another cartoon show.
Okay, clam booby. Now in this scene, you swing down, grab the girl, blast the giant chatter eating penguin, bomb the enemy fortress, break the plane, blow up the tanks, and basically stop anything else that moves. You got it? Shame about my leading lady, but no, I'm an active lot of you. I know I'm not the muscle-bound hero type you want, so I'll just say goodbye before going quietly out of your life. <laughs> Forever! <laughs> Don't be silly, Cecil. You've always been a hero to me. Really? Heroes can be measured by the strength they have inside. As for me, all I want is the place to run and hide. No. My Gosh. hero. <laughs> <laughs> Serpent's got to keep in shape. Two million and two? Three billion and three? One. What's your next exercise, Cease? Sit-ups. I'm going to sit up in a chair and have breakfast. <laughs> All that exercising made me hungry. Did I hear you say you're hungry, Cecil? Well, yeah, you're in luck. Men, it just so happens we're off on a top-secret adventure to Soup and Sandwich Island. Oh boy, lunch! I'm starving! Shh, not so loud. The walls have ears. Hidden somewhere on the island is the priceless golden menu. According to legend, whoever owns it will get any food they order. Once I get my stinky, sticky fingers on that golden menu, I'll be able to make a fast buck in the fast food business. Okay, men, let's get going. Deck the swab, uh, uh, hoist the wheel. The uh, crowy, trim the hedge. Ah, take a bus. I charted the most direct route to Soup and Sandwich Island. 
We'll travel through parts of Turkey, dip into Chile, slide through Greece, slip down the Bananama Canal, and before you know it, we're on Soup and Sandwich Island. Does that mean we can eat now? Not yet, Cease. First, we have to follow the map and find the golden menu. Be careful, men. Legend has it that the golden menu is protected by a tribe of wild savages. <laughs> by giant spoons. What are you doing, Cecil? Seeing if there's any food on these spoons. I'm starving. Yow! Yeah. Uh -uh. Thanks for the map, meathead. Now the golden menu will be mine. All mine. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Am I bad or what? Oh, no. DJ stole our map. Cecil, what are we going to do? How are we going to get out of here? Well, I do have a little worm in my family tree. Cecil, it's not nice to talk about your relatives that way. Ah! What? There, I saved us. Sort of. Well, how about that? A river made of alphabet soup. Reminds me of the Mississippi. Reminds me of the minestrone. Now I can eat. I've heard of fast food, but this is ridiculous. Oh, no. Alphabet soup rabbits. I can't hear you, Beanie. Would you do us a favor and check out what DJ's up to? Just a little further and I'll reach the golden menu. What kind of loony map is this? There it is, the golden menu. At last, my fondest nightmares have come true. The golden menu is mine. Not yet, dishonest John. Yikes! Give me that. Too late. I got it first. DJ, you dirty guy. We, we've got company. Oh. <laughs> We're trapped in an ancient restaurant surrounded by a tribe of angry Amazon waitresses. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> Rainy and Susan. Anyone who steals the golden menu must face the head waitress. And you are gonna pay for this! Do you take credit cards? <laughs> Whose idea was it to swipe our golden menu? Okay, okay, I'll talk. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
It was his idea. It is him. He has returned. The great customer. He has returned. The great customer has come back to us. All hail the great customer. That's me, uh, the uh, a great customer. Great customer? What do they mean? Behold, the great customer! What the heck? He looks exactly like Uncle Captain. Customer. Oh, great customer. Many moons ago, you went to the washroom in the sky, never to return. But now you are back. Order whatever your heart desires from the golden menu, and we will provide snappy service. Yeah, everything looks so delicious. The big tipper has ordered everything on the menu. Boy, I mean, I can't eat all this food. It is written that the great customer must eat everything on his plate. Now eat! Captain, can you throw me a few rolls? I'm starving. Cease, look! Yeah, uh, uh At last, the golden menu is mine. Come on, Cease. We've got to stop DJ and get back the golden menu. It's the only way we can save Uncle Captain. Huh? How can the menu save him? Don't leave me. I can't eat all this food. Eat! Don't worry, Uncle Captain. We'll be right back. Save me a roll. Some food for thought. Hey, menu. Give me some liver flavored pizzas with chocolate sauce. You ever get the feeling that lunch is passing us by? Taste those pea brains with pasta. Hey, menu, give me some spaghetti to go. Oh, no! A spaghetti avalanche! Leave it to me, Beanie Boy. I've been waiting for this all day. We're done. Finished. Well, I guess we got our just desserts. Oh! No, you did it! Way to eat, Cease. I'll take it from here. Hippity hop, hippity high. Come on, Beanie Copter, fly! Okay, DJ, lunch is over and you are paying the bill. Hey, menu, give me a big prune pie on the double. <laughs> ha! Come on, Cease, I got the golden menu. Now we can save Uncle Captain. What, no go?
garlic bread? Beanie, how is the golden menu going to help us rescue Uncle Captain and Chloe? Just watch. Golden menu? May we please have a whole bunch of mashed potatoes, lots of licorice, and chocolate syrup? Still don't get it. You will. Hey, waitresses! Uncle Captain isn't the great customer! He is! Yeah, uh -uh. You won't get away from me, you little... Hey, put me down! Hey, what's the big idea? Exercises. Ah! Not as long as DJ. Oh, the great customer has a major tummy ache. We found the golden menu and we ordered up some fun. DJ had to clean his plates. <laughs> Pooh Bear and all his friends in the 100-acre woods for the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh coming up next. ABC's Decathlon of Comedy continues. Tonight, it's Who's the Boss? Tomorrow night, Mr. Belvedere, followed by an all-new comedy special, Mutts, starring Mike the Dog. Suddenly felt burning hot. <laughs> then I felt for freezing cold. And I got all tongue tied. My heart skipped a beat. Then I got butterflies in my stomach. And then when I tried to talk to her, I was so nervous, I felt like I was coming apart. Cecil's a sucker for Cecilia, eh? Say that three times fast. Uh -oh. 
This is my chance to louse up that low life's love life. Come on, Cees. Pull yourself together. If you're having trouble talking to Cecilia, why don't you sing her a song? Hey, that's a great idea. I'll do my Michael Jackson impersonation. <laughs> ah, Cees. Lucky for me, I know a shortcut to Cecilia's island. Okay, Shorty, cut. I love being a cartoon bad guy. That dippy do-gooder is about to see double. singing is giving me a haddock. I wish I was hard of hearing. This may be shellfish of me, but I've got to change Cecil's tuna. Golly, Cecil, maybe you better try a different song. She hates me, Beanie. <laughs> I failed. Flunked. Struck out. Choked. Laid an egg. I'm not taking this well. What a great big hunk of sea serpent. That was just the most dull and little old serenade. Now you just sit on the front perch swing while I fix up some lemonade. <laughs> she likes me. I knew she did, Cease. I better leave you two love serpents alone. Thanks for your help, Beanie Boy. This rocket-fueled lemonade will put a little spark into their romance. Yeah, uh, uh. Drink up, my lanky Yankee. Anything for you, my Dixie Pixie. We have liftoff. Powerful stuff. And so is this next important announcement. Three commercials and a station break, and Cecil's still up there. One lemonade coming up. Oh, please. No more lemonade. But I made it specially for you. Are you gonna hurt my feelings? Manners. 
Cecil, this is Houston. We have first stage separation. You're cleared for post-orbital flight. Over and have a good one. I've ruined everything with Cecilia. What should I do? Cease, boy. Take some advice from a real ladies' man and try giving Cecilia uh, a nice gift. Sure, Cease. Just take her some pretty flowers and start again. I'll do it. I couldn't find flowers, so I'm bringing flounders instead. Ah, a tall toad bearing gifts. This gives me an idea. Sorry I blew up like that, Cecilia. Here, pretty fish for a pretty girl. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll put them in water. I'll bet I get a kiss for that. Yeah. Right on the kisser. Right. That's what I think of your cheap fishy gift. If you really love me, you bring better presents. Anything for you, Cecilia. Love's not only blind, it's stupid. Oh, Cecil! Here, Cecilia. Now do you like me? Why, of all the nerve, trying to buy your way into my heart, Gee, Cecilia, sometimes you seem like two different people. I don't know what you're talking about, and I never want to see you again. Oh, Cece Poo, please forgive me. I have been such a fool. Now give me the treasure. Oh, Cecil, I'm sorry I got upset. I do want to see you again. Huh? <laughs> Cecilia, you are two people. Do either of you like me? Uh, sorry, but uh, I'm spoken for. Ta-ta. Pop goes the weasel. DJ, you dirty gal! I mean, guy. Excuse me, Cecilia, sweetie, but right now is where I chase the bad guy and give him what for. Now that's what I call a rich diet. Hold it right there, you wall to wall carpet bagger. Hold on, my little butterworm. I have a better idea. <laughs> True love conquers all, all in love is all you need. What I need I need a plug, cause they sing so badly. John and John Winnie the Pooh and Ticket 2 for a musical western. It's the all-new adventures of Winnie the Pooh coming up next. Tomorrow, you may have heard about them, perhaps even read about them, but you've never seen them until now. John Davidson and Christina Farrar host Incredible Sunday. Monday, MacGyver is back where he belongs. Mondays, before football.